Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Draw number 11. Uh, I hope everyone had a great fourth. Uh, thankfully, I did not have to go anywhere. Uh, where I live in Oakland, I can just like look out my window and it's an awesome light show. Uh, and I'm talking about the 4th of July for... Um, I do have to remember that this video can be viewed internationally. So, uh, America just celebrated its Independence Day, so, yeah, that was fun. I mean, it was great for me. I didn't have to go into work on Monday, so, woohoo. For, uh, sorry, crack my back. So, yeah, there's a, I guess uh, there's a couple things um, I'd like to talk about. Uh, just give you all an update. Um, where I'm at with comics and um, talk about um, creating our comic book style. Um, my approach for this Let's Draw is going to be what it was different. And so now, like, I, it was the last video I remember that I was talking about bringing in, um, start using these videos to start. Uh, creating the art for the comic that I'm working on. And it's still, I don't know if pie in the sky is the correct term <laughs> to use. Uh, it's still uh, mercurial. Uh, it is able to turn on, the, on a dime. I kind of have, I have my subject, and which is a one sentence of uh, the character set up conflict just quickly is just like a one generic sentence um, and so I have that at least and now everything I do uh, is going to be um, that's like a through line I guess I can I, I can always like refer back to that uh, subject to say like is this enhancing but also I guess I don't want to be I don't know if I want to be too uh, strict with it yeah I don't know I don't know if I want to be too strict with it because um, I think writing is a is an organic process so if I come up with a better idea then you know I might have to change the subject a little bit but for now just trying to focus in on that subject and I create like a so I create the subject and I'm moved on to uh, research um, and character uh, bios uh, I have to create a character biography for the main character uh, just to see if there's like any uh, um, it's just more for reference for myself uh, because at least through the book I'm reading, which is a Sid Field's screenplay. I read this book back in school, um, rereading it again, uh, again, uh, and it is coming a little bit easier uh, to understand the concepts this time around. And yeah, it uh, uh, was. So, right, okay, so it's creating, creating the character bio so I know my character and, and their past because uh, story um, is about like it, revealing the character through action uh, is the main thing. Sorry, rearranging my workstation here a little bit. Um, so yeah, revealing the character through action. I think that's it. Um, just because, like, sometimes as a writer, like when writing, like I, I can get into my own head, uh, and I like <laughs> I'll know the information, but you all won't know the information. Uh, so, I guess like just knowing what needs to be revealed and. Some of the information just might I, I might not use at all, uh, and it's just for my own notes. Um, 
and that's okay. It's more important. It's really just to know and just have, just in case if I need to call upon it uh, when I start writing. So if you all could do me a favor and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, greatly appreciate it. And please subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, I uh, send out a newsletter once a month uh, with a unique image attached uh, that I don't share anywhere else. Uh, yeah, this month's image was actually uh, my first concept uh, coming up with this character that I'm using in this Let's Draw right now. Um, I gotta say who the character is. Uh, right now it's a guy card sharping. That's a term that I... I, I it was like... Uh, it's, I've been using incorrectly because I thought it was like card shark. But uh, it's actually supposed to be card sharp with a P. It's not shark. Um, it's a supposed to be like one of those most commonly like miss uh, said terms uh, in the English language um, so yeah uh, this character like just because I don't want to say like like this is my official like character um, design I still need to explore some more but I really just wanted to start like yeah like um, actually what am I talking about I've uh, sorry, I just realized last last the last let's draw was also um, uh, an image uh, that went to start exploring the world, and so now I did it again uh, for this one. Uh, though the style and I think I did uh, a much je better job uh, in creating depth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, in creating depth and interest. Uh, I, I don't know, I just, it, it, it just feels better to me, uh, the style that I came up for this one. Uh, the last one, like, it also helped that I had a concept uh, of a character that I designed um, that I could uh, just, like, reference. And I have been doing research, so I've been looking at more clothing and uh, for design and stuff like that. Uh, excuse me. And uh, um, whereas the last one, I, I kind of just sort of hopped in and was just going off of the, the seat of my pants. And um, also, it was like more, that one was more heavily rendered. And it actually took a lot longer. One of the things that I'm trying to do is. I guess ideally with a comic book style, I don't have all the time in the world. You know, it's uh, with comics, there, there, there is a due date with this stuff, um, or hopefully there's a due date. You know, uh, trying to get this thing done as fast as possible. And no, I'm trying, to flip this out. trying to get this done. Sorry, as fast as possible and. Um, that just comes through uh, efficiency and style and uh, and design. I'm trying to focus more on design as opposed to rendering because I, I think in the last one you can tell like when I was like uh, when I, when I, at the beginning of it when I was drawing like the main guy <clears throat> that's in the foreground of the image uh, I quickly jumped to rendering and sort of just got to start making tick marks that way and then um, I didn't spend really a, a lot of time I spent some you know I, I spent a decent amount of time on underdrawing um, actually that's, that's what a, a unique one with this one it's like I hadn't well, I, the style I came up with was just so fast um, that I included the um, my uh, me creating my roughs on top of my thumbnail just to just to fill out for the entire half hour so yeah it was great uh, and and I was just happy I was like oh this is still an engaging image uh, 
for something that I just like was able to just quickly um, like with that with this style of like flat black so I could just quickly get done and um, that's the nice thing about uh, having a solid design I've been looking at a lot of uh, you know a lot of anchors um, that have like a heavy like black style um, and when I say heavy blacks like I mean like like in their shadows they just instead of like um, cross hatching and like rendering out a lot of their details uh, they'll just like quickly throw down like a blocky shadow um, and call it done and then move on um, they it's more utilitarian I guess like <clears throat> it's more uh, um, they, they just want to get the information across and just move on and that's what like I need to do so yeah um, it also like creates more of a I know it's like it, it just looks more like a comic book style if that makes sense like uh, using this method um, <clears throat> so a couple of artists that I looked at <clears throat> uh, for this style that um, I'm trying to develop uh, I think it's it's a handful so it's Mike Mignola uh, Alex Toth Jaime Hernandez I'm gonna say those three are like the main ones um, and this is and those are and you can see that they just really have like heavy black um, compositions like they just uh, they're uh, the black and white compositions um, are very that there's not a lot of rendering it's just like they give you the information um, but they do it in a way like through design that's very engaging uh, and I realize um, as I get older like rendering is just fluff and like um, it's kind of more the exterior uh, like it's the paint job of the car as opposed to like the design of something is is the engine that actually is running the whole show <laughs> or actually just making sure the whole thing ru just runs um, and that's what I want to do it's it it actually will help improve the story um, I noticed, yeah, it's like it, the style forces me to slow down. Like I think about the shadows and the design of everything a little bit more and it just enhances the image, uh, overall. Um, shoot. I was hoping, uh, <laughs> talk my writing comics and my, uh, comic book style, uh, would carry carry me through for a half hour but that seems like a no um so i guess uh now i just need to talk about uh what's going on with my life uh so at work um i think last time i talked about uh getting um promoted from being a senior uh flash animator to a senior 3d animator which is crazy i would never thought that would actually happen um <clears throat> no but I, I of late like 3d has been great uh i've been slowly like understanding it and i'm fighting the program less and it's it's um uh, i can actually have an intelligent conversation somewhat uh with other uh, 3D artists or an animators uh, <clears throat> but what's cool is that they've been giving us mentors and uh, it's actually been it, it's that's a whole different skill set that uh, I um, am looking forward to develop because I get stuck in my own head like before uh, the senior animators uh, at work 
we were just expect we were just more of a um i guess the workhorse like the backbone on the animation team just to make sure to get work out and done uh and yeah like a, a um um but no, we've been getting uh, mentors, uh, not mentors, mentees. I've <laughs> been saying that wrong. I'm the mentor, mentee, and I got mentees. I guess that's the correct term. I don't know, it's all new to me. And uh, it's great. It's just, it's forcing me to uh, pull out and like, I have to quickly look at a scene and I have to like, uh, explain to them oh my gosh that beeping is annoying um, so I have to explain to them like you know like what quickly like what the, what needs to be done um, what they uh, to um, to help with like you know and en enhance their scene better uh, their animation better uh, so yeah because sometimes I feel like, uh, um, like in the past, like I'll like awkwardly stare at like someone's animation for a little bit longer than than needs to, <laughs> just because I'm trying to figure out like to explain to them like um, what needs to be done to improve it. But yeah, like I said, getting better about it. It's a whole new skill, so. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> so that's my day job work. Uh, what else? Went clothes shopping yesterday. I hate clothes shopping. With a passion. Not with a passion. Eh. It's just uh, in the past, like, I have a interesting body type that just makes me, like, um, have a hard time. It's actually easy finding shirts. It's more of the pants that are an issue. Um, just because they don't make pants with uh, for guys with thighs. That's for sure. Um, uh, what else? Started playing Overwatch uh, for over the three-day weekend. Um yeah, I was getting, <laughs> I was playing through uh, Witcher's DLC, and then uh, I got to a point with it. <clears throat> it's like I just wanted to beat up on monsters, man. And uh, but it got to a, a point with it where I had to like put together a heist and just had to run around and do that. And I was like, oh, this just feels like work. And uh, it just made, it made me realize I wanted a game where I can just where. You just hop in, quickly play, and just be done with it and get out. Um, so it actually, yeah, it was. It's been really great watching, like the like Overwatch is interesting just because um, um, really the shorts I've been watching, like that polish that they've they've put on, like that Pixar polish. Uh, yeah, it's and it's been fantastic. Um, well, I feel like a stand-up comedian, like how they talk about like they uh, they talk about like sometimes like they'll have a good set and their 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 material will like say go for the amount of time that that's needed, like ten minutes, twenty minutes half hour, hour, uh, but sometimes, like, when things get nervous, like, or, or when they get nervous and, um, or just something happens, like, yeah, like, they just burn through their material too fast, and then they're just, like, have to fly off the seat of their pants, uh, just to fill up the rest of the show, so I kind of feel like I just did that. I'm like, I still got 10 minutes of filler here. Or y'all can just watch me draw and I don't have to, <laughs> I kind <clears> of, 
nothing really exciting uh, too much has happened so <laughs> uh, that's the unfortunate thing like when uh, uh, recording and making these videos um, yeah recording and making these videos is just uh, I don't have uh, losing my train of thought okay let me take another swig of coffee here it's early in the morning, as usual here. I always do most of my work in the morning, and uh, yeah. Uh, but this the, this morning, I woke like wide awake, and it's kind of one of those awkward ones. Uh, I think it's just because I haven't worked out in a while, so I just was just bing, ready to get up um, and ready to record. But unfortunately, not enough material. So yes, if you could please subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Not the best selling point, but yeah, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel uh, and um, and to my newsletter uh, where you'll get a unique image once a month uh, along with just a quick update where everything's at. Um, there might be some more additional information uh, that I, I'm able to write down because I'm Definitely a better writer, and I don't know if some of you are like this. Um, well, just because I'm not used to like verbally, uh, honestly talking throughout my day, like this is the best way to put it. Uh, so actually, that's one of the nice things about these videos is that I get to talk um, and just keep that skill going. <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, um, so yes. Uh, Oh yeah, and my, like, yeah, and way better writer. I like. I I I've been enjoying writing so much more, like, ex uh, as I get older, and especially creative writing. Like growing up, I hated writing, but I just realized I hated writing because it was uh, research papers, and it wasn't creative writing, and. Um, automated writing like I do better when uh, that with free form creative automated writing just just it feels it, it's like drawing it just feels great it's like sketching I'm just making little doodles um, but in word form if that makes sense um, so yeah hopefully something um, I just want an okay script out of this whole experience. Like that's my goal. Like I don't, it'd be fantastic if it was great, but I'm not, my expectations are not that high uh, because I've, I haven't tackled anything this large before. Um, thankfully my uh, workout book that I wrote, um, it's not a workout book. It's, it's a weight loss book, honestly. Um, it, that was like 80 pages so I felt like that was that's like a good prep um, for now going for a hundred and twenty like um, graphic novel length uh, script so that's the goal like trying to create a graphic novel length and then I think once I create the script and then probably about 10 10 to 20 pages of the of the story then probably gonna go pitch it to uh, um, image because image of late uh, they're really great uh, for creators uh, to <clears throat> they've been really great uh, for creators uh, because I think the creator gets a lot of the ownership still whereas I guess if going through other uh, like the big two um, for one, it's not a superhero comic, so I don't know why the big two would even like consider this comic that I'm working on. It's like not their brand and wheelhouse at all. Uh, but still, let's just, hypothetically, if it did, if they did take it, I think my cut would be less as opposed to it's just more creator friendly going through image. Okay, so <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel please and subscribe to my newsletter uh you can go to robinholstein.org uh to check that out and 
Um, also, at the end of this video are all my Patreon supporters. So if you want to be a Patreon supporter, uh, go to Patreon, search my name, uh, Robin Holstein, and you will find my Patreon page. Uh, there is a $1, at the moment, just $1 a month. That's less than a cup of coffee, and it just helps. Like, all your proceeds just help support, um, like, uh, uh, me and, like, uh, in, in my pursuit with comics. And pretty much all that money is going back into, like, uh, into, like, supporting that comic book pillar. pillar. Wow. Talk, Robin. <laughs> it's, uh, supporting that comic book pillar. Uh, and... So it would be fantastic, uh, yeah, if you do support through that way, it's, it, it helps out a lot. Um, and thank you uh, to those who are already supporting me. Um, you all are great. So if you want to see the final image of this, uh, also go to robinholstein.org um, and go to my... Uh, current section and you'll see uh, the blog posting with this video uh, and you'll see the final image. I actually added a little tone to it. Um, I was just trying to find like, I think um, the, the image, like the style, so the style that I created, uh, unfortunately, like it looks good black and white, but there is like some aspects of it that um, like it, the style also um, is helped greatly if it's going if it goes through a pipeline or color, pipeline if it if it's handed off to a uh, color artist um, or if it's just given like in my case I just gave it one single tone and it just helps uh, tremendously with the mood um, and supporting uh, the lighting um, so yeah. I hope you all have a great day. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, sorry I'm cutting this a little short. I just ran out of stuff to talk about. Uh, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to sharing the next image. I, I really enjoyed this image and um, uh, looking forward to sharing the next image with you. Uh, hopefully it's just as cool. Um, there are some other characters I need to start exploring. So yeah, uh, have a great day and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.